just keep coming back to me, nigga. Was my force, take nines back to me, nigga. You mad at me? This ain't what I want, man. This what it had to be. This is that ain't not working out the three, man. This is why my old girl was. This why I'm mad to see Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. My phone going off. Check it out. Y'all know it's Friday night. Y'all know what we doing. This is the Scheme Podcast. Scheme Comedy Show Volume 3 for you and me. For me and you, we're making it do what it do. I'm your host, Main Manifest. Y'all already know how we go. Y'all can follow us on Scheme.podcast on IG, Scheme underscore podcast on YouTube. Bring you some more of the freshest comedians, DC, in the house tonight. You know, everybody looking good. And, you know, it's the 12 days of Christmas. It's December 13th. We got the 12 days of Christmas. If you ain't got the people, what you gonna get them, your gifts and stuff? You better get to it. You know, the 12 days of Christmas. My true love gave to me. She, she gave me a, a STD. Shit, that's, just the, that's the gift gift that I keep on giving. Whoa. Shit. Not for real, but I, you know, I had heard. That's my man. I said, damn, in 12 days. He had to get rid of it in 12 days because he was going to go back. Shit, some of that shit be wrapped. He should have wrapped it up. But no, everybody ready for Christmas, though? You know, the Christmas holidays, tis the season. They say some people, you know, try to switch. They really go Jehovah Witness, so you ain't got to get the gifts or people, you know, traveling and all that. I don't really believe in that, though. You know, I don't think you should be, you know, forced to give gifts in the holiday seasons and Valentine's Day. You know, well, Roger, you love me. You know, I want something for Christmas. (laughs) Shit, man. I got to go to the store. What am I going to give? And it's a lot of pressure on people. Like, Like, what do you give to the person that has everything? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's like sometimes I'm like, you know what? I give you this dick. No, I'm just playing. No, I just I don't. You know that's we got kids watching. We got kids watching. Y'all need to cut it out, man. Yeah, and then you got your pets. You know what I mean? You got your pets. You gotta get a gift for your pets. Everybody go to the toy. Like my man told me that my man used to have a dog. He told me you're supposed to take your dog to PetSmart or Petco. Whatever. What is it? Is it PetSmart? Petco? What's this? What's the uh? What's the term for the animals, y'all? Petco, yeah, you, both of them, right? He said he, said he got two dogs and shit. Look at this. What up, these these in the house? Check it out. So look, you, 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 he said you're supposed to take your dog to Petco and have him smell out, smell out a treat, and then whatever treat he smells, that's the one you're supposed to buy it from. Y'all ever heard of that? I ain't no dog lover. I don't know that shit. That, that's too much work. I'm taking my dog to try to find the eight ball. No, I'm just playing. But anyway, but anyway, I did not know another girl had a cat. Had a cat. Check this out. She watching a commercial. Friskies. What's got in that cat? Friskies. And shit. So she's like, oh, this looks like good dog food. I mean, cat food. So she done went out and bought $50 worth of cat food. Cat food, y'all, so that the cat could eat it. Cat sitting there. Cat ain't touch shit. Cat looking at the cat. Meow. Like, bitch. Cat ain't eating you know, Cat still look, sitting there looking his ass. But y'all know what it is. Listen, we ain't gonna hold y'all no more. We got the comedies coming up. I got PLJ, you know, coming to the stage. I'll make some noise right now. Let's make some noise in the house. Make some noise in the house. All the way from DC, you know me. D's give him a beat. Give him a beat. Give him a beat. Let's go right up for PLJ. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know, I know, I know. You gotta do it. All right. The, them 1980s singers come out like that. I love you, baby. And I tell you, I love you, honey. Again. This ain't really long. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cut this shit, cut this shit. <laughs> thank you. What's up, what's up, DC? We out here, man, making noise out here. You gotta come out with that 1980 shit. That's when Ike was beating Tina and shit. Hell yeah. 
Snoring cocaine in a limo. Yes, thank you, man. This is, you know, that's the song that they play. Can you play it again? Can you play that same song again? This is that song that you play when you try to dance with a girl and she just walk off when you're in the club and shit. You try to come up to her and shit. Get that shit on. He waited. He, was, he, he said, oh, I'm about to get that shit. She freaking... He, he, he got like he got like five seconds. He did all this shit. He did it four times. He said, one, two, three, four. She turned it back around and said, oh, hell no. Walked off. She walked off on him. He was, you know, in a club. A thousand people looking. He had to play it off. It hurt his heart. He said, <laughs> he had to walk. I'm gone, gone. Thank you. Turn, cut it off. Gone, gone. Nigga left. And it's sad, man. That's sad. Damn, beep, beep, beep. Them security on. That's ADT security. Thank you. Shout out to ADT security, y'all. Hell yeah. Domino's police. Domino's pizza. Shout out. Yeah, we doing it up in here. And it was a daycare, you know, because we go to the daycare and we try to, you know, I was looking for a daycare because I'm a new father, you know. Well, I'm a new father, you know, I'm looking for a daycare. And I rode by the daycare and the slogan said, we babysit kids. We really hate them. We just do it for the money. So I said, damn, I just drove by that shit. But I said, damn, well, how you going to have your uh, a slogan like that? That ain't right for them. Damn. Uh, that ain't That ain't cool, you know. Anybody married out there? No. Anybody married? No. I like I like marriage, you know. I just don't like to go to the I, I like marriage, you know. I like I just don't like to go to the watch the wedding and shit, you know. Be too long and shit. She wrote a letter and shit. Dear Rodney, ever since we first met, I knew you were the one. When you first laid hands on me, you blackened my eye. <laughs> Be the bitch, Foundation. That was sad, man. She married him. Somebody just gets her. No, it's okay. He loves me, Diane. You can't tell somebody who fall out of love, you know. Sad, man. It's sad. I like different music. I like different music out here. Like I like to listen to Elvis, you know. Elvis be talking shit. He be singing shit sound like his damn throat gyrating and shit. He be just got to gyrate and shit. That shit make you vibrate and shit. Yeah, I like I like listening. To him. I like listening to Mexican singers. Con bolir al panos raño. They always hold their ear and their damn stomach at the same time. Con bolia. You just say gonorrhea. You just say gonorrhea in the most lovely way. <laughs> but that's sad of them to do, man. You know, and I think it, it's a lot of police brutality going on, too. A lot of police brutality going on. I think that Asian officers will make it equal all around. An Asian police officer will make it equal all around. He pull you over. He just come over here. He got the Asian accent straight from Asia. He even walked like he from there. And shit. You be in your car looking like, you an officer? He said, what the fuck you speed like that? You know the reason why I pull you over? He look at him like he been here before. He said, I don't know the reason why you pull me over, but hopefully you will let me go. Not in the fucking let you go. You go at 90 miles per hour, you motherfucker. You slow down around here. God damn it. You were gonna even the baby or something. You don't know if they walk by. You dumb motherfucker. <laughs> you got cursed out by a fucking foreigner. 
But uh, Asians keep it real, you know. They don't mess with nobody until you fuck with them. I seen an Asian pimp and shit. He's walking and shit. He had the same walk as the fucking officer and shit. I said, where y'all get this fucking walk from? <laughs> but I love it, man. Yeah, I love it. Fellas, man, we out here. We out here dating and shit. We out here dating. Yeah, we out here dating. So we got to get it together while we dating and shit. Because we lie while we dating and shit. We lie, you know. Fellas lie. He said, yeah, you know, I'll be getting my uh, bachelor's degree in financial security. <laughs> yes. She said, oh, well, yeah, what's that? Well, it's a program in uh, dim dimensional financing. Yes. Yes. It's a program in dimensional financing. You know what I'm saying? Dimensional financing. Fuck you mean? Y'all lot out there, man. I thank y'all. Thank you. And that's where DMX come out and shit. Tell me up, come on. I was DMX. Dog. You know my dog. You know my dog's in the spot. Turn him over with the clock. Turn it up. Why you put the phone on? They playing this shit. They playing in the background. Yeah. Now my dog's in the spot. DMX, you know DMX come out in the spot. Yeah. Now my dog's in. You know my dog's out here. All that shit. People fight over greens, you know. The, the best way to get people together is if you... The best way to get people together is if you say, They fighting, y'all. They fighting. People gonna run all around and shit. <laughs> Be happy as hell. No. You know how you fucking happy as hell because people fighting and shit. People gonna get happy as hell as soon as they fighting, y'all. Fucking come over there fighting. People fight over crazy shit. I be around a lot of violence and shit, man. That's why I talk about it a lot. You know, I be around a lot of violence and not go to church. I go to church thinking my pastor gonna make this shit right. But he be lying himself and shit. He be lying. I got beef with that nigga. I got beef with him. He just tried to talk to my grandma and stuff, you know? I don't like that shit. He tried to talk to my grandma, man. He asked her what was her number so he could call her for prayer. He didn't want to pray for her. But, uh, yes, yes, yes. How y'all feeling tonight? We all right. We good. We good. <laughs> all right. Yeah, my uncle got a tooth missing like you, man. He got a tooth missing just like you do. Damn. Thank you. They y'all match, man. How was it going? I was in uh going back from here. Foreigners and shit. Foreigners don't give a damn who you is. That's right. Foreigners will walk up to you and say, fuck you. <laughs> Keep walking and shit. But yeah, man. We out here, we doing the scheme thing, man. Just keeping things going on. And uh Hope y'all feeling good tonight. You see, y'all ain't got no job but to watch. See, people could just be watching just like drunk neck and shit. Just sit looking. Some people just watch you and just want to say, yeah, I can't wait to <laughs> see what he do. It's because you ain't doing shit your goddamn self. That's why you doing that shit. We ain't nothing wrong with that. All right. Thank you for tuning in. You know, with your tooth missing ass like me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. He talking about he wanted to be the mayor of the city. And everybody know he do cocaine. <laughs> he said, I could do it. Yeah. Snoring and shit after it. <laughs> yes, man. Yes, man. But we lie. We lie, man. Fellas, we lie, man. We ain't got to lie like we do. We lie for no reason. Just tell the truth sometimes. He said she fell asleep and shit. He fell asleep. He fought a nigga because he worked that blockbuster, thought he was talking to his girl and shit. He fought him and shit. Fought him Thursday. You can't do shit without it being recorded nowadays. You can't do your goddamn thing. He said, I'll see you Thursday. 
fuck y'all looking at? Just staring at me through a computer and shit. Through an iPhone and shit. Fuck you. You don't know what the fuck I did. You don't know about my life, nigga. You don't know about what the fuck I did before I came here, motherfucker. You don't know what the fuck I had to do before I put my fucking motherfucking shoes on? Staring at me through a computer like you got some other shit to do. Talking about I'm going to sleep. Go the fuck to sleep. Ain't nobody gonna watch your ass. Go sing Anita Baker. Caught up in a rapture, you motherfucker. But, uh... Damn, yeah, you ever hear, see, fights and shit going on. You ever see a fight going on by you and shit? You just chilling? You ain't doing shit, but a fight come near you and shit? You gotta walk away? You just drinking your beer and shit, dancing and shit. Caught up in the rapture of love. Nigga, fuck a fight come by your ass and shit. You like, this fucking up my mood, man. I was caught in the rapture of love a minute ago. That's a lot of breath, Anita Baker. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> we're on air. Yes, we are on air. Harold. And uh and ain't nobody worried about what I'm doing. Everybody around me is just pouring liquor. So I hope y'all doing it too. People coming in. ADT security going off. This is what we do. Helen Hansley out here. And this is how we hopping it. And uh and and uh you know caught up in the raptures of love is how niggas gyrating and shit. He said. But uh, it was a nigga named Dick Hardy and shit. He was in class. Niggas named Dick Hardy and shit. And they ain't want to call his name because every time you call his name, they be like, yo, who the fuck asks for Dick Hardy? They say, yeah, is Dick Hardy in here? He said, who the fuck this nigga fucking keep on asking for Dick Hardy and shit? The fuck on with that Dick Hardy shit, nigga? Nigga, Dick Hardy ain't in here, nigga. Yeah, and the principal came and he said, yeah, I'm looking for Dick Hardy. Dick Hardy? Nigga sound like a pervert <laughs> yelling Dick Hardy. They called the cops on that nigga. <laughs> oh man He said he just ain't got it Jimbo <laughs> He said Yeah man But uh It's been It's been It's been Very great out here man <sighs> Predominantly black This nigga jeans so tight His ankles bleeding Damn this nigga jeans so tight, his ankles bleeding out here. God damn, do you want me to call 911 for you? If you not gonna do it? God damn, he got holes in his jeans just to let air come through them shits. <laughs> Veins breathe. <laughs> Need air. <laughs> Need air. Nigga, if your leg could talk, it would say, fuck you. <laughs> Don't stick up the butt. <laughs> if legs could talk coming out to a theater near you yeah i'm pookie long johns man y'all have a good night tonight we're gonna see y'all next week and we're gonna do this like this on the skin shit let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go give it up for the round go pookie long johns yeah 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 that's my brother y'all it's my brother homie Ain't a life family. Nigga stole my drawers every morning for three years straight in high school. Yeah, right. how, you, how you wear another nigga drawers, you nasty ass? I'm tired. That's why sometimes I used to piss in my shit and just leave it in a clean pile just to see if he would put it on. I I <laughs> this nigga just... I'm like, nigga, you got those on? I know what the fuck I did in those last night. That's what he get. He used, to, he used to steal my jerseys, y'all, and this is a true story. And then wear my shit, and then they, they hang my shit back up in the closet. I come back home, my shit smell like straight jupe. Nigga, I don't even wear jupe. I said, nigga, with jupe on in 2019. Y'all know y'all nigga, he got jupe on right now. I smell that shit. That jupe smell like fucking Mr. Clean. Ah, uh, damn. Smell like grandfather. I know another brother used to go to Rite Aid, and niggas buy that, uh, that brute. That, that that old spice brute shit, smile, ho- smile, seventy one Cutlass Supreme. Get the fuck out of here, 
DZ got that boot on right now. I spell, you know. But no, nah, man, it's crazy because, like you said, he was talking about some real shit. Like I said, we always just try to keep it real, give you perspective. You know, he was talking about the dating and shit and the ladies. You know, we got ladies in the house. But, ladies, stop lying. Stop lying about how good your pussy is. Everybody ain't got good pussy. Let's, let's, let's just get to the bottom of it. Everybody, I got that good, good. I got that good, good. No, no you don't. You, you got that good, good. That, that shit that you, you could give it to a nigga, but you playing around. That shit is. That shit done expired. That shit should be in, you know, in Audi. You know how they take the groceries to the grocery store and they put it in Dollar Tree? But no. But here's the thing, though. If all y'all had, if all y'all had good pussy, everybody would have a man. I feel like, and this is my theory, I, I feel like the girls who got good pussy got men. They wiped up. Fellas, right? Can I get some noise on that, fellas, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. And all my cats who made noise in here, we fucking the niggas who wiped up. Anyway, let me say, I'm just telling y'all, I'm just saying, we fucking the chicks who got, no. You know what, I don't remember get off that because they get mad at me. They get, listen, this is what we're going to do. We're going to bring the next guy to the stage, the coolest cat in town. The coolest cat in town. Oh, they getting mad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can stay right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, dude, you gotta hold up, cause it's, cause he from, he from the south, this is my man, he told me he wanna come up to that little Lil Nas X, the ride, oh, man, take my, to the hotel, no, <laughs> cause he a gay cowboy, no, anyway, no, this is my man, this is how we tell you, I gotta get at it, cause I know you gonna come at me, let's go, let's make some noise right now, keep making some noise right now, for the day to day, yo, with well, his Xbox, one, two, three, kids, shades, <laughs> He really wanna be a WWE wrestler. This one man, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Never let a nigga see you If you if you don't know by now, I'm lazy, so I sit down. It's fucked up. Jay talking all that shit, looking like a baby gap uh, mannequin. <laughs> Kids Foot Locker. He look like when you walk when you walk through the mall. He look like he doing this. A mannequin looking uh. <laughs> It's crazy. They keep talking about my shades and stuff, man. It's, it's, it's not funny, man. I'm wearing these. My girl black my eye. Domestic violence is not funny. Shout out Pookie Long, John. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm joking. <laughs> or am I? This is a cry for help. No, nah, for real though. No, nah, I I did just get out of an uh, abusive relationship, and I was in denial. That's why I was still there, fellas. You can be in an abusive relationship. Like she used to beat me, and I used to be like, "No, I ain't gonna hit no girl." Like, no. She said, "Yeah, yeah." That's what she used to do. She used to talk shit, and I'm like, "What? I ain't no pussy. I ain't no pussy." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just linked back up, and she punched me in the eye. So I gotta wear these shades now, man. It's crazy, man. It's dating. That's dating. That's dating now as a millennial. You know what I'm saying? You know, she told me, oh, no, I just deal with you because I don't want to get no new bodies. You a body I already got. I'm down. This is the new philosophy now? Like, I'm, I tried to date this one chick. It was so crazy. Oh, my God. Man, we sitting here chilling. You know, we, you know, Netflixing and chilling. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do as millennials. I'm going to keep saying it. Now, bro. Why does she DM me on Instagram like, I'm hungry. What you trying to eat? You couldn't even text me? You sitting right here. Yo, what you trying to eat, bro? I don't know. You got Uber Eats? Uber Eats? We got groceries. You don't cook? Shit is crazy, man. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's really hard day now. You know, you got Tinder. You got people don't appreciate you no more. It's just what you look like. You got what? What they got? Uh, uh, Bumble. You know, they got all the all the shit. Like they just just they just want want you for what they see. You know what I'm saying? They don't appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I got this. Oh no, nah, you talking about the jail stuff now? Nah, he talking about plenty of fish. If you are on plenty of fish, you are a convict, or are you looking for some convicts? <laughs> you know they be robbing niggas on plenty of fish too. You better be careful, nigga. Duct tape your little ass. They gonna. You know, you know the Amber Alerts. What they put out an Amber Alert for you? <laughs> if you're under five feet, Amber Alert. <laughs> no, for real though. I was dating this one chick. You know what I'm saying? She was going on this trip, so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be thoughtful. I'm gonna go ahead and buy her a couple things. You know what I'm saying for the trip? Make sure she good. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be a, 
a, a, a Instagram guy. You know the guys they always post about on Instagram that they want, right? So I bought her these uh, organic apple chips. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I didn't know. I, I eat them. They good. They snacky. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's better than chips. You know, that's my opinion. But I give them to her. She like, are you trying to say I'm fat? I'm, no, I'm trying to make sure you don't get diabetes from eating Doritos on your way. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you want me to get you Doritos and, and chips and dip and, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking, uh, what's the name of them drinks we used to drink for the dollar? <laughs> to my Huggies. <laughs> That was childhood. That was 25 cents. See, that's how, you know, we got inflation, man. This shit, shit is crazy. No, not today, buddy. You feel me? Back to you, baby gap. Over here with this mother. <laughs> I was just like, anybody in here ever uh, take Viagra? Oh, y'all got quiet then. Y'all got quiet then, right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> I know you, you know. Oh, you just take the the pills from the gas station. That's technically Viagra. That's that's still technically Viagra. Don't, no, don't try to play it off now. Don't play it off now. You don't bought one of them little pills that be. They tape it. They tape it to the window at the gas station. You don't try one. Yeah, you know. See, look, he named them. He named them. He know. I'm trying to tell you, man. I ain't gonna lie. You know, it's just look, man. When you in school, you you. You, you hang around certain individuals. Okay. It's white people. It's white people. No, white people, they don't do regular drugs. They don't do regular stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they do. They do their drugs, you know? So I had this one white friend. He was like, hey, bro, you ever tried Viagra? I'm like, bro, I'm young. We don't. Hennessy is my Viagra. You know what I'm saying? Like, he like, no, bro. Try this shit, dude. Like, you know, he gave me the whole rundown. I ain't going to just. I'm not going to mimic him because. Everybody does white guys, right? Cut to the to the to the uh, Netflix and chill opportunity where I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. You know what I'm saying? Cause she had me wait. You know, fellas, when she have you wait, you gotta try to put that that punisher on her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all don't y'all don't get no ass. Y'all like, ooh, y'all married. They married. <laughs> you get ass on the weekends. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, man. I popped at the knob for real every other weekend. Sucks to suck. Stay single. <laughs> hey, listen though, listen though. So I pop, I pop the joint before I pull up on shorty. Right, I'm like, yeah, you know, cause you know I don't know this shit. I just, it's just what you see on the movies. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just thinking out of nowhere, like we're gonna be talking. My shit gonna be like, like a, a shuttle or some shit popping out my pants, like. So I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? It just get the blood flowing. If you, if you haven't tried it, I'm just, he's shaking. You know what I'm talking about. So the moment comes, and you know, I usually wear jogging pants. I don't wear skinny jeans. I don't like them. But, you know, she, she can feel it through the joggers. So she, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she whipped my joint out. I'm like, she look up at me like, I look back like, damn, is that mine? <laughs> this is my pants, right? Hold up. Yeah, that shit, yeah, it was another level. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, obviously, I, I got to the room. You know what I'm saying? And we doing what we do. I don't kiss and tell, so I ain't going to give y'all no details. But it's a certain side effect they don't tell you about when you're doing these drugs. So I'm I'm, I'm, I'm just going to stand. I'm just going to tan that shit up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, you know what I'm saying? Out of nowhere, I get the meanest headache I could ever. It's not a migraine. This is a. I felt like a blood vessel in my head was about to pop, and I was gonna die. And it was it was really fucked up because I'm like, damn, bro, I'm finna die in some pussy. Then I had to think about it. Shit, I might as well catch this nut. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming, Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, but I had to finish up. I had to finish up on that one. That is a hell of a way to go, and I would. Would not mind, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, you know what I'm saying? No, it's fucked up, bro, because I, I, you know, my pops, he like my best friend. So, like, I, I tried to tell my pops and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, you know, I tried this, you know. This was crazy. It was a crazy experience. I almost died. He was like, man, don't be doing stuff like that, man. You know, he gave me the pep talk and, you know, man, you young, you don't need that, you know, all this and that. 
I'm like, man, look, pops, okay, I'm I'm grown. Leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go to sleep. My fucking granddaddy called me out the blue, like, hey, man, I talk. Your daddy told me what you been up there doing, and uh, how much he get them to you, for? I'm telling man, y'all have a good night. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, make some noise. Give it up. For them homie Tay, Tay, the Hitman Fart. Fart. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Tay, the Hitman Fart. That nigga rides on the WWC. It's a, it's a community college division. Baby got my ass. Hey, get your ass out of here. Boy, I don't know. He know what it is. Only fuck on the weekend. Let get more ass in y'all here come by. Now, this, this is my man, though. You know what I'm saying? But he did. He said he going he, he do, he take do backyard wrestling. I saw this nigga jump from a turnbuckle, turnbuckle off a patio. <laughs> the nigga was wrestling corduroys, corduroys, and a necktie. No shirt on. He said, get your ass out of here, man. Backyard wrestling. Backyard wrestler, and they be having real belts and shit too. Like, nah, 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 nah. my brother Sean, what up, Delios? He like wrestling all that. Get out of here, Tay. I mean, you need to, you need to leave them pills alone, nigga. Them gas station pills. <laughs> Fuck around, cause they did a study. They were showing niggas had niggas had different shit in them pills. Hell yeah, this motherfucker up here taking mice, mice pesticide. <laughs> he fucking don't know why. He said, shit, I'm faster than I ever been. <laughs> but nah, this is Ski Podcast. I know what it is, y'all. Listen, man, y'all make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that subscribe button. Volume TV gonna come back. PLJ, y'all make some noise for PLJ. My homie Tay, y'all make some noise for Tay, y'all. You know, listen, Vision, WLVS, y'all know how we do Ski Podcast. We out.